Welcome back for some more of Banjo Kazooie. Where we last left off, we were gonna get those notes, but the way to get them is we gotta find some waiting boots for us. Wherever those could be. Oh, I never explained the roll jump. If you jump off a cliff, but roll immediately after falling off, you can do a little jump. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You just walk, roll, you can keep, somehow you can still be rolling in the, in air, but you can also perform a jump. That move can be pretty useful, actually. Oh, we can take these waiting boots right here. Slow down, I tell you. It's just there to mess you up. <laughs> That's the real enemy of the game. On an emulator. Slow down. Good thing slow down isn't a boss, because it would be undefeatable since it doesn't manifest in a form. It's just there as an entity. Like, entity. In, in a way. Anyways, we got this little maze-ish area. It's not really a maze, but more of a just walk through the path and you'll get out. Wait. Get out. Yeah. At least they leave you with enough waiting boots to get through. Another G switch. Okay, I just gotta angle the camera properly. And there's that beautiful Jiggy. This Jiggy in particular is really tough to get. You only get 10 seconds. And if you fall down, you mess up for good. Because you would be in that stupid murky piranha water, which is bad. Plus, Grunty will be like, "Oh, I's, you should try being a little faster." If you don't make it in time, she's like, "Oh, too bad. You could have been faster, but you're not fast enough." And she mocks you, like the jerk that she is. Stupid dragonfly. Another ikumbokum token. And Mumbo's skull. The second one in the game. We got more than enough for that. Hold up, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go take care of something important. Anyways. Here we have some feathers, and if you see that, there's the second honey, extra honeycomb piece. So anyways, we got enough tokens, so hey Mumbo Jumbo, to do his Ikabukum time. And now we're a gator. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. There's also a token behind his chair. <clears throat> so we're now we're at a crocodile. All we can do is press the A button. And pressing the B button will allow us to bite enemies. And by biting enemies, we'll actually deal so much damage that they'll give us two instead of one energy honey energy pieces 
the, the traditional one. I'll have to demonstrate that in a minute. But first we go over here. Some extra eggs. Some more notes. And there's that pink ginger. Some extra Mumbo Jumbo tokens and the uh, golden feathers. There's some notes. There's that stupid dragonfly guy. Come on. Come on. Sucker. Biting enemies give you two energy pieces instead of one. That and an extra life. If you guys are wondering why my lives are back to five, back to three or five or whatever it was earlier, some unexpected stuff happened off camera with my computer, and the emulator, and I had to restart it. So I have low lives again. Go through here. There we go. All the notes. Yes, that was well done. Well done. Some extra stuff. There should be a golden feather, I think. There we go. Ooh, shoes. That we cannot take for the moment. And this guy. Err, err, err. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press the A button to accept, or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Basically, the game is eat the most, eat more stuff than your opponent. And try to beat him. Also, if you get a draw, it unfortunately counts as him winning, which sucks. If you lose the game, you will lose energy. If you win, you'll go to a, you'll go to the next round. So far, I'm doing good. But that's a pretty long mini game, so it's kind of annoying in my opinion. Oh crap, he's catching up. Ooh, that was close. Grr. You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds. Avoid yellow grumbles. They're not right. Ready? Three, two, one, go! So now they introduce a new item in the game. Those yellow grumbles. Eat one and you'll get food poisoning. In which you can't move temporarily. So try to avoid those in this round. But you can walk through them, which is nice. That's what makes this minigame a little tougher. That there's so many of them at once. Come on, Banjo Gator. Wow, that was a pretty epically powerful slowdown right there. 
Oh crap, come on, come on, game. And I'm running out of time. This is bad. I gotta win this game. Go, Banjo Gator! Yes! But we'll finish the next game on the next video because I'm gonna run out of time. So, another. On the next episode of Banjo Kazooie, we shall play Mr. Vile's game again. Till then, see you next time.